oh yeah, this defense is going to be good. Nation. Welcome to an episode of Podcast, the podcast where you don't have to be Packers fan, but it sure does help. I'm your host, Tom Rashawn. Gary is going to consume souls this season, and I am all about it. Fetch me their souls. Grassi. And today we are going to be taking a look at the other side of the field. Yesterday we looked at if the Packers will have a top 10 offense for this upcoming season, and now we are going to take a look at arguably what I'm the most excited about for the Packers season, and that is that defense, because I think the expectations are incredibly high for how good this defense could actually be. We got a defense. And similar to what we did yesterday, I want to go through the 2021 season. How good were we last year in terms of turnovers, differentials, sacks, taking a look at passing yards, rushing yards allowed, points allowed, etc., and what we could expect potentially from this upcoming season. So in 2021, the Green Bay Packers were a pretty damn good defense. For example, we were ninth in total yards allowed. We were 10th in passing yards allowed, 11th in rushing yards allowed, a big improvement. As many Packers fans know how bad our run defense was over the years. We were 14th in points allowed. We were third in turnover differential. A big part of that, thankful to Aaron Rodgers for not turning the ball over. We were 6th in interceptions with 18 picks. We were 16th in fumbles with 8. We were 8th in total turnovers and 15th in sacks with 39 total sacks. So in all metrics, we were a top 15 defense. We were a top 10 defense in yards allowed. And taking a look at what we got going on this year, the expectations are very, very high. Considering the defense that is coming back this season is largely unchanged, and instead we've added weapons, and on top of that, we're getting one of the best corners back from a major injury. So let's kind of break this down spot by spot. So Zadarius Smith, for example, leaving the Green Bay Packers, going to the Minnesota Vikings, definitely hurts. However, last year, guy barely played at all, suffered with an injury all season, wound up coming back for the playoffs, got his one sack, and then decided to leave town. So Zadarius Smith is kind of a non-factor here, because last year you had the combination of Rashawn Gary and Preston Smith absolutely demolished. Rajon Gary, for example, had nine and a half sacks and was insane when it came to QB pressures. Now, I will say that the depth in terms of our pass rushers is a little bit concerning. However, the Green Bay Packers did something that I have wanted them to do for a very, very long time, and that is get Kenny Clark some help. So Dean Lowry, for example, has had a nice career resurgence, has kind of really earned that contract, but you got Kenny Clark, and now you're going to have Devontae Wyatt. Devontae Wyatt, first round pick, definitely high expectations for him. I'm excited to see how he is going to perform. I'm not imagining he's going to be starting immediately, might be used as a rotational guy as he gets more experience, but just to have a little bit more oomph on that defensive line, which is going to help in the run game and, of course, getting after the quarterback, I'm all about it. Then the Green Bay Packers decided to add Quay Walker, and this was after bringing back Devondre Campbell, who was phenomenal last year and one of the best linebackers in the league. You bring in Quay Walker and all of the comments about Quay Walker from the team coaches have been phenomenal. So really looking forward to seeing him in the middle of the field. Then talking about that secondary, you already have Darnell Savage who definitely can improve and hopefully he can take that next step with being Joe Barry's second year to get a little bit more acclimated in there. You had Adrian Amos who is one of the best safeties and most underrated safeties in the league. And then you look at our corners. Jair Alexander who we basically didn't have the entire season returning from injury. You got Rasul Douglas bringing him back. Eric Stokes had a phenomenal rookie year last year. Hopefully he doesn't have a little bit of a slump, but if he just plays the same that he did last year, they're going to be really good. So our corners, we're kind of set there. The secondary can be one of the best in the league. Now you add the extra coverage of Quay Walker, who has that sideline to sideline speed in the middle of the field, and you add a big guy on the defensive line, and don't forget about guys like TJ Slayton. Yeah, the Green Bay Packers defense could cause problems this year. So barring any injuries, I think the answer to this question is a resounding yes. I would love to see the points get into the top 10 as we were 14th last year. And the defense was not a problem at all in the playoffs against the 49ers. It was the offense and it was the special teams. The special teams should be getting a big boost because you have Rich Passaccia there. He's already screaming at guys for calling fair catches. So I love what Rich Passaccia is already doing because he's kind of like, hey, 
we need to fix this, basically a unit that has been defunct for a bit, and especially last season. And so now hopefully that just improves from the bottom of the league. And any improvement there is just going to be considered progress. So the Green Bay Packers should get better when it comes to rushing yards allowed. They should get better when it comes to passing yards allowed because you're going to have Rasul Douglas, Eric Stokes, and Jair Alexander on the field at the same time. And it's going to be a beautiful thing. Yeah, I think the Green Bay Packers are a top 10 defense. You could argue that they could be a top five defense. I think that is very possible. I am very excited. But I don't want to get too excited because some of this does have to do with potential, you know, and guys who are coming in who are new. But overall, the core unit that we had last year is intact, and I can't wait to see what they do on the field this season. But let me know what you think down in the comments below. Do you think the Packers are going to have a top 10 defense this year? Let me know. You can also find me at TomGrossetComedy.com or TomGrossetComedy, all social media you see down below. Check out podcasts on SoundCloud, iTunes, Google Play Music, Spotify, and of course, YouTube. And a big shout and thank you to all the patrons over Patreon.com slash TomGrossetComedy and the YouTube members. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Tom Grossi. And as always, Go Pack Go! (laughs) 